BBC Radio 2. What's been going on in your day today, then, Emma? <laughs> well, it's been I a bit of laughter up. by the sounds of it. I know. I woke up and I, I had some bread. I poured a bowl of Cheerios. Cheerios, <laughs> eh? <laughs> And I got the milk out of the fridge, and this is a really funny story. Standard but the breakfast. Milk, Standard the breakfast. Milk, the milk was warm, and I opened the fridge and I looked, and I was like, why is it warm? Well, you're telling me your milk was warm temperature, even though it had been in the fridge. That is what I'm telling you, oh. and I was baffled. I couldn't work out why, and then I realised the light on the fridge was off. It, it was, it was what? It was, it was off. off. Oh no. And I was like, what is going on? Is, is this some kind of sick game? Oh, that's a joke. His soul was coming, his soul was coming and tricking me. So, anyway. I would not be having that if I were you. I would not. I would be running straight to that fridge. I would be <laughs> emptying those contents of the fridge. No, I did that. I did exactly that. If you're basically removing all the contents, you're basically taking its soul away. That's what I did. Right. I took away all his privileges and he exactly. had none left. Exactly. <laughs> That's what you got to do. You can't reward him. He's done nothing good. So, basically, my mum got up when I explained the story. And she said, why is all the fridge empty? And I said, well, I had warm milk, so I took away the fridge's privilege. <laughs> 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 I took away the fridge's privileges. And she was like, oh, yeah, that was the best thing to do. So I was like, yeah, I'm glad I've got your approval. So anyway, we went to the Comet. Comet? <laughs> Don't oh, like... I love that place. <laughs> oh, actually, wait, it wasn't Comet. It wasn't Comet at all, it was Corrie's. Oh, like, like what Indians make for dinner, right? <laughs> yeah, sometimes I make it as well, though, because I like a good Corrie me. <laughs> Do you know what else like you, curry? You make a mean curry, don't you? In your pot. Guess who else makes curry? Oh. I know you know. I'm not so saying I, it. I'm not saying it. Don't what? say it. Don't say it. Please. Because right. I'll just wet my pants. Oh yeah, we can't say it because we're on the radio. Exactly. BBC <laughs> Radio 2. So anyway, let me carry on with the story. Yeah. So we got to Corey's and we were looking around and we were like, oh, there's quite a few fridges over there. Shall we have a look? Can we have a little look? And then we was trying to find some assistance because we wanted to buy one of the fridges. And then while we was waiting for assistance, we found these massage chairs and they were, they were astonishing. Are you were... telling me there were massage chairs in Corey's? <laughs> yeah, I'm tell that's exactly what I'm telling you. Oh, i got to get myself to Corrie's. Guess how much they are? They're are they only a... £130. Oh, I thought you was going to say, they charge you. Do they not charge you? <laughs> the massage. Yeah. No, no, you've got the wrong end of the stick. <laughs> what I mean is, I thought they were there just for a little break. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway round, rounding up that conversation, we bought a fridge and it can't be delivered until Friday. So until Friday, we've got no food, which means in the morning when I wake up, I can't have Cheerios and milk. I'm going to have to have dry Cheerios and that is not going to go down well. Well, that's all we got for today, folks. Well, Hope you enjoy <laughs> Emma's story about being fridgeless. See you later. Bye. BBC Radio 2.